Hey guys, Airsoft Talk. I'm Delta One, and today I'm going to be reviewing a JG as a company as requested. Um, first off, any Tokyo Marui fans, go away right now because this is a bad. This review is going to make Tokyo Marui look pretty bad. I'm going to review them next. Now listen to what I have to say before arguing. Thank you, or before you put a comment down. Now I'm going to start out with JG's notorious history for their budget line guns and where I'm going to start is with their JGG 36C. That is one of that is the best gun you can buy for your first AEG. Reason being is they've had so many sold. They've had there's very little flaws if all on anything. The only flaw that I had is that mine was plastic bushings, but that was an old model. Their newer models don't. Now, they're solidly built. There's no wobble at all. They're very very good and you can't really beat it. If anything, I think it's better than its counterpart, the TM. For eight bucks, I'll go buy a hop-up spacer from Shredder's Custom, which is like kind of like an uh, like an arch over the BB, so there's no deviation, so it doesn't go left and right. It just goes straight. So better than a TM, in my opinion. If I just put that in, and you're gonna be like, well, if T TM already had the pre-installed, so it's really good. No, they don't have a Shredder's Custom hop-up nub. They just have a good hop-up unit. I'm not gonna go spend that much money for a hop-up unit, and for 280 FPS. Now, JGs are, in fact, reliable. Now, I will say this. Um, for the people who haven't had a reliable JG, you got unlucky because you probably didn't buy from a good retailer. And I'm not going to say any retailers' names, but if you buy from the right retailers, you will have quality control. And they will make sure and ensure that your product works, like I do. Um, now, I'm going to move on from the JG G36 line to the M4s that they make. Now, before you say anything, yes, I know some of them are plastic body. The newer models aren't. Those are metal. Now, their plastic body line M4s, like I've got one sitting right next to me that I have from inventory, and it's in fact a nice M4 for 150 bucks. It's it's just awesome what JG is putting out these guns in the price for. You really can't beat the overall performance out of the box for the price. And yes, I know there are some budget companies like G and G has done budget budget guns, but sometimes they aren't really as budgety as you know they say they are, like 180 bucks or something like that. Moving on, don't quote me on that. Um, now, there's a lot of companies that are claiming that JG is lipo ready. I'm gonna quote something: A gun is only lipo ready if you know how to fix it. It is only lipo ready if you know how to fix it. Except for KWA because they actually have a warranty and they do run pretty good on a lipo. But I still won't even recommend it then. Just because I'd rather play it safe than sorry. I, I kind of like to play it safe than sorry when it comes to customers but I'll run a lipo on... Okay, I'm going to get off topic if I keep talking about that. I'll make another video. Um, their M4 line, whoa, my mouse is freaking out. Okay, their M4 line is very good for what you're paying for it. They're very affordable, and you can do eight bajillion things to it. Um, another good gun from JG is their AUGs. I think that JG makes the best AUGs on the market. I really do. Because their, their AUG A3 is really good. Freezer has one. The only con I have to it is that it has stupid soldered motor mounts. They soldered it to the motor. I'm just like, oh, it's so aggravating. Um, and that there's very limited battery space. But again, JG put MOSFET chips into this, and their shipping has even become really good. They're, 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 with how they pack their guns, it's amazing. I, If you've watched the AK 74U review, go watch this and look at the packaging for this gun. The reason I don't have the stock is because I'm getting mine refinished. Because I had a bunch of scratches on it and I wanted to put a better finish on it. So, Plus their blowback AKs are so nice. Um, the way they are designed is pretty rock solid. And they, they can handle 9.6. They won't break as soon as the old school blowback systems. Um, they'll last you a good 10,000 rounds if you treat it right. Um, and probably further on than that if you reshim it and do some things. But... The shimming from JG used to be really crappy. Now it's actually gotten a little bit better. Their quality control, I wish their quality control was better. It's not bad, but again, if you buy from the right retailers, you won't have to worry about that. Such as me, a spec Airsoft. And yeah, I'm going to advertise myself because I have quality control. I'm not going to lie to you. Now their AK, JG made a rebrand off the, I think TM made a 
body kit for it or something. Uh, if someone knows what I'm talking about, please tell me, because I, I bet you a million dollars gray arc airsoft. Anyways, from now on, if, if any of y'all see his comments, please just thumb him up and tell him how awesome he is. Um, yeah, I read your comments, Grey Ark. I saw that yesterday, how you said that uh, I was right about Echo 1. I saw that. It's pretty beast. Anyways, JG rebranded that hybrid custom AK, and they did a good job. They didn't really rebrand it. They cloned it, and it is amazing. The only thing I did not like about it is that the FPS was 480 feet per second. Why is JG making stuff so cons like so ridiculous in terms of compression? It's retarded. Um, I was just like, wow. I was like, that's really high. Um, anyways, moving on. JG's done a really good job with their G3. It's really accurate. It's overall great, a great G3 for the price. The only con to it is that if you're going to try and find a metal body, it's going to cost you money. Like $150. It's going to cost you probably as much as a gun for a metal body. Which is really aggravating. It kind of makes you want to just go buy a classic army if you're going for a G3. Which is really the only option for a metal body. And moving on. Uh, JG's AKs are just SEMAs, to be honest, guys. They, but they don't take... JG doesn't take credit for it. They just, you know, hey, AK... And their AKs are just so well done, as long with SEMA's. I think SEMA does a better job, though. But we've got one. I'm actually staring at it across the room. It's it's really good. It does its job. Just like every other AK. And JG is really just... They started cloning. They went from TM, and then they started trying to clone a KWA. Airsoft Megastore claims that the JG version of the clone of the KWA is better. That's bullshit. I really don't care what they say because half the time they chrono all their guns with point twelves. Yeah. Um but this is probably gonna be a shorter one than normal. But JG is really is really impressed me lately. Their MP five, their budget MP fives are crap. Don't buy those. Those are all plastic and crappy. That is the only gun that I really don't like that JG or that stupid fish star crap. The Ikazuchi or Ika Crappy or Itcha Crappy or whatever you want to call it. I don't care for that. Now, I don't really care what anyone says. JG is a good company for the price, what they do, what they come out with. They've even got their own, like that, that hybrid AK. No one else makes that except for Tokyo Marui. And I I want to say that Airsoft GI makes one, but they it's like 600 bucks. So who in the world's going to pay that? If anything, I'll just buy the JG, put a better, like a GMP metal body on it, and then put some GMP internals in it and be like, skip it, bah! Anyways, I'm going to have to say JG gets a 7.5 because the reason they get a 7.5, I would love to give them an 8, but their quality control isn't that good. I've had to deal with some come broken sometimes, and I've had to put in brand new gearboxes or get, get a brand new one because of how bad their quality control was. It, But, I mean, if you have, if, again, if you buy from the right retailer, you will have quality control. So if you buy from me, you have quality control, you're not going to get a broken gun. If you do, you warranty, blah, 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 blah. That's pretty much it. So I give them a seven and a half. I would have given them an eight if they had better quality control and the fact that they're going in a really good direction. And another thing I'm going to quote people on is everyone's like, J.G. Barrett, oh my God, J.G. Barrett. No, it's not J.G. Barrett. It's a snow wolf. J.G. did not make a Barrett. I wish they did, but they don't. Now, it's just something to, to market it in case it fails and people are like, oh, JG's good, we're just going to blah, 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 and it's going to be fine. But no, they just say that. Now, JG doesn't make a P90 either. That's bullshit. I don't care what anyone says. I know Airsplat advertises it as a P JG P90, but that's all bullshit. So, they get a 7.5 for how good overall from me they get a seven and a half which getting a seven is a good rating for me getting an eight is a very nice nine is extreme ten is impossible um that means there's no cons no that means it has to be really cheap really affordable really good internals has to withstand the lipo for a hundred thousand rounds without breaking or maintenance so this has been my review of jg hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching